Hello everyone, I'm Trey Wittish. Here's your entertainment report for Tuesday, July 20th. Lindsay Lohan is set to begin her 90-day jail sentence this morning in Los Angeles, though her final hearing will be away from the spotlight. L.A. Judge Marsha Revel has banned court cameras from the courtroom today when a bailiff will take the troubled actress into custody. Lohan was sentenced to spend 90 days in jail for missing alcohol counseling sessions in violation of her probation. She's also been sentenced to 90 days in a rehab facility. A Lady Gaga concert in St. Louis over the weekend came under fire from the right-wing protest group Westboro Baptist Church, which warned that the singer and her fans were going to hell. Gaga has become a target of the church because of her outspoken support for gay rights, donating $20,000 from each show to, chair to a charity supporting homeless LGBT youth. Before the show, Gaga tweeted to her fans to ignore the protesters, and the concert went on without incident. Original Big Star bassist Andy Hummel died this week after a battle with cancer. He was 59 years old. Hummel played on the band's hit albums number one record and Radio City before leaving the group in 1974. Recently, Hummel appeared on a Big Star panel at the South by Southwest Music Conference in March, where he also played in a tribute show to Big Star founder Alex Chilton, who died that same month. And MTV's Jersey Shore will now be expanding into the world of literature, as the New York Post has announced that the cast members of the situation has signed a book deal. The reality star told Entertainment Weekly that the work would be a tell-all book about his life and that he will have help from another writer. And that's your entertainment report for Tuesday, July 20th. I'm Trey Wittish. Be sure to stay logged on to RTTNews.com for all your entertainment headlines.